Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, let's talk about this confraternity clash that is currently going on in the city of Benin, right there in Edo State, between Black Ass and Mafite. This confraternity war has been going on for quite some time now. It is long enough, it is almost like an infinity war now. And what happened between four to five days ago seemed to have escalated the war to the extent that the mainstream media had to cover this very clash. You guys know that mainstream media really don't cover confraternity clash because they have said it is bad for business. But you know that whenever you see a confraternity clash on the mainstream media, it means that this is something big. And this is what we are going to be talking about in this video today. I also want to make you guys understand that this update that I am going to give you guys is riddled with controversy. What members of Mafite are saying on the street is 100% different from what members of black ass are saying on the streets i also want to make you guys understand that this confraternity world is not the normal confraternity world that people have become accustomed to in this country of as we call nigeria this world has taken a different turn as the confraternity members have slightly taken it away from the streets they have started involving politicians that they said are confraternity members and very rich and famous people that live in benin city at those states that are more than 10 voice notes that has gone viral if you put all the voice notes together so a lot of things are out there in the streets so let's dive into the video without wasting too much time so as you guys must have known there has been a confraternity clash between these two groups in the city of benin for quite some time now and some people have been brought down since this particular confraternity war started so you would think that it is time for these young men to come together and make peace However, something has happened that escalated the confraternity war again about five days ago. There was a shocking update that this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down. Now, this young man is popularly known as Schoolboy. He is said to be a member of Mafite, not just a member of Mafite. He is a high profile member of Mafite. A lot of people had said that he is one of the leaders of Mafite in Edo State. And when this young man was brought down, other people that were with him were also affected. And this video that you are currently seeing is the video of the man by the name of Schoolboy vibing to one of the songs that is just released by one of the Nigerian top artist and as you can see clearly he is not just a young man I think if he is too young he should be in his late 40s or early 50s so when the young men who are said to be members of black ass pull a hit on this young man some people that were with him were also affected and one of them is also in this particular video as you can see this particular young man that you are seeing on your screen by the name of Ima Sexy was also brought down the young man is also said to be a member of Mafite, and the third person was also fired at of which a lot of people have said that the third person is still fighting for his life in the hospital why the mainstream media have said that the young man have died because they said that it was three people that were brought down at the scene other people have said that the third person that was with them also went down in the hospital and some people said that it is only schoolboy and Emma sexy that was brought down in that particular heat and the community at which this happened in Benin city is called Okun. now after schoolboy was brought down members of Manfight got angry and they were very upset so the Manfight hit squad decided to roll in that same community called Okun and they were looking for any member of black ass that is going to be seen walking anyhow up and down they said to have pulled a hit on the young man that very day in that same community called Okun bringing the young man down they also pulled a hit on another member of black ass in a place called Okoro and the name of the black ass member that they pulled a hit on is A1 However, they thought that the young man was brought down, they left the young man and luckily enough, the young man found help, people helped him, put him in keke and quickly took him to a hospital. The young man by the name of A1 is said to have survived that hit and they said that the young man is in an unknown destination taking treatment. And as all this is going on, the community decided to involve spirituality as the elders in the community decided to lay cause on his squad that went to pull the heat on schoolboy. 
and according to what the people in Benin City explained to me from what they were saying in the video where they were laying us this very video that you are seeing on your screen they have said that anyone who is involved in planning the breaking down of schoolboy they also lay cause on the person i am going to play 30 seconds out of the clip where they were laying cause on the people that went to pull the heat and i will come back to continue the analysis <laughs> And since that happened, there has been a lot of voice messages, a lot of broadcast messages on WhatsApp from both sides saying that they are bringing people down left, right and centre. In reality, those cannot be confirmed. And what I have also noticed is that in that particular area, when they bring people down, the vigilante always announce that someone has been brought down in that area whenever they raise a court-related killing. And I think the person that is also in charge of the vigilantes in that area has also been called out of which will we get there in this video so since this thing has been happening both groups has been kind of playing some intelligent game with each other to the extent that they have begun to call out the name of politicians in that particular city and i am going to tell you the people that have been called out i won't say their name but i am going to say the position and i will tell you the confraternity that is calling each other out so the chief of staff in that particular state has been called out by members of black ass saying that he is is using the police officers in that city to arrest black ass members and they have accused the man to be a member of Mafite. and members of Mafite have also equally accused the deputy governor of their state saying that the deputy governor is a member of black ass and he is using his deputy veto power to try to punish other confraternities in the state and this is a big deal because before now it is just street fight and now they are calling big names they even called a name of a person that i really don't know before and i tried to look it up i noticed that they are calling out a senator a young man that was once a senator right there in edo state saying that if they can put a hit on the man a former senator that they are going to be happy so they are beginning to play the kind of games that i don't understand took it away from the street and they are now trying to involve politicians and people that are rich like i told you guys before i knew that it would get to this one day and if these people that are in power if they are really confraternity members and they don't do anything about this to settle it i assure you it is going to affect everyone in the long run so these are the things that i was able to gather and if you think there is anything that i have missed please put it in the comment section below respectfully anyway you are watching Nigerian view.